is breaking news from CBS 13. And the breaking news takes us to Turkey, where a military coup is underway. It is about 2.30 in the morning there in Turkey right now. And the military has said in a statement sent to Turkish television that it had taken over control of the country to protect the democratic order and to maintain human rights. Troop movements and low-flying military aircraft were reported in Istanbul and in the capital of Ankara. Pretty crazy there right now. The Turkey military has declared martial law. That means a curfew. And... People are being told to stay indoors, but many of them are not. Turkey's president is calling on citizens to take to the streets in a show of support for the government. And Turkey's president is said to be in a secure location, and he is really the key figure in all of this and why this is happening. His name is Recep Erdogan. He's an Islamist politician who has really kind of cracked down on the military, trying to take control over it, and uh, he has said that he will squash this. We're getting some reports that this has become deadly, reports out of the AP and other sources that... 17 police officers have been killed in a helicopter attack on a police special forces headquarters. As we take a live look at crowds, Christina reports that thousands are on the streets, and there's evidence of that certainly centered around the airport and other areas as tanks and other vehicles are on the streets. Yeah, it's been a very changing scene. As you can see here, these crowds are doubling in size as the night goes on there in Turkey. Uh, the military is on the streets. Police have kind of had to take a defensive stance in all of this because many of the police officers there are in support of the government. Now, President Obama has just issued a statement as of late saying all parties in Turkey should support democratically elected government and show restraint. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry also saying the U.S. views with gravest concern events unfolding in Turkey. We're monitoring the very fluid situation. So very careful statements coming out from the United States government at this point, trying to figure out exactly what's happening here. Again, a live look at a military coup underway. Let's just listen in just to the chaos for a second if we can. This started around 10 p.m. or what would have been 10 p.m. Friday night in Turkey. And there had been rumors of this as the president, Erdogan, has gone down big time in his popularity. And there has been a lot of talk about this possibly happening. There is uh, some criticism over social media right now that the U.S. was not ready to respond to this. John Kerry did give a statement initially and then came back with a harder statement saying that uh, this will not be tolerated. Now, the troops that are in the streets there have uh, been firing shots at people who are gathered as well. The political administration that has lost all legitimacy has been forced to withdraw. That was the statement from the troops just about a couple of hours ago now, uh, saying their reasoning behind uh, staging this coup there. Uh, the president, President Erdogan, has also said uh, that he does not believe that this coup attempt will be successful. So uh, many people out there turning to social media. We have heard reports that Twitter has also been slowed. Uh, the Internet services have been slowed, so not as much information is getting out at this time from those who are there. And I do believe we just saw the first uh, coup selfie mm -hmm. in, in history. Uh, we are staying on top of this, of course. Evening News with Scott Pelley. We'll have much more. And then at 5 o'clock, we'll turn around new video, new numbers, and the rest of the chaos as the military coup unfolds in Turkey, a key U.S. ally.